The Murali Pillay. Question seven, please. Sir, each year about 900,000 scripts are sent to Cambridge Assessment for marking. The Cambridge Assessment has shared that this is the first time examination scripts were stolen and it is taking this unfortunate incident very seriously. Cambridge Assessment has assured MOE and SEAB that they will review their processes to ensure the security of examination papers and scripts and safeguard the integrity of our national examinations. This includes a full scrutiny of the courier services offered by its suppliers. I thank Mr. Pillay for his suggestion of using technology to reduce the risk of physical movement of examination scripts. Indeed, SEAB is studying the option of scanning and marking answer scripts electronically. This would potentially reduce the risks such as theft or misplacement associated with transporting hard copy examination scripts. However, given the large volume of answer scripts and the number of subject papers offered each year, the implementation of the scanning and electronic marking of answer scripts would have to be carefully considered. Thank you, sir. Mr. Pillay. I, I thank the Honourable Senior Minister of State for his explanation. I have a supplementary question. In relation to the case of the uh, 238 A-level exam uh, chemistry examination papers that went uh, missing, or stolen rather, uh, may I ask uh, how did the measure taken by MOE to assess the, the candidates by giving them an aggregate uh, score or to allow them to reset the exams square against the need to be fair to the other candidates and make sure that they are not disadvantaged. Um, well, I think the option of allowing a reset, uh, I think, can be understood as being fair. It, it was a, a full examination, and this, these were candidates that didn't have the opportunity to have the submission marked. The issue, I suppose, is really to look at those candidates who had a presumptive grade assigned. If we look at that subset, the technique that was used is something that has been used and the model has been developed uh, quite robustly. Uh, one can imagine that on a regular basis every year, there are candidates who, through uh, illnesses or unfortunate circumstances, are unable to submit every component of an exam. Um, and in this case, it is only one out of four components of the exam which went missing. So uh, between MOE, SEAB, as well as Cambridge assessments, we have a, not just a single model, but a number of mathematical and statistical models derived <coughs> to uh, predict, uh, I suppose, or triangulate the final performance of a candidate. Uh, so this is something we've developed over time. We, the three bodies involved did their analysis on this occasion and also back-checked the analysis with respect to the outcome for these candidates. And so it was felt that this was a reasonable proxy, but the choice was then given to the candidates should they wish to reset it. Uh, in the process, none of the other candidates who had their scripts properly marked and went through the process were in any way disadvantaged. <laughs> 